This is a third transition testing video. Same as number one and two, except I've moved the straws closer to the test section, as well as the needle. Everything else is the same. We see that the needle, it's a 10 inch needle. So uh, this, this paper is eight and a half by 11. So we know that the needle edge is about right here, which is more similar to classic Reynolds experiment. So we won't be able to see the ink here anymore. So starting at Reynolds number of a thousand, 0.25 gallons per minute. Okay, so now with the ink on, uh, not flowing too fast, we see the expected result of laminar flow at a thousand, Reynolds number of a thousand, all the way to the end, although it does flare out, it's still laminar. We see that it's perfectly steady, unlike some of the previous tests. Going to jump up to a thousand or two thousand, point five one gallons per minute. <clears throat> we see that at three feet, still perfectly laminar and perfectly steady. This uh, second ribbon here is most likely caused by the uh, bending of the tube here. You see that the tube is not perfectly straight, it flexes. Moving up to 2200, 0.56. Perfectly laminar, no sign of transition. Slightly unsteady here. 2,500.63 gallons per minute. No sign of transition. Moving up to 3,000.76 gallons per minute. Slightly unsteady. at three feet.
still laminar. Moving up to 3,000. Oh, we're at 3,000. Uh, 3,500, 0.89. You see unsteadiness. But the flow is still laminar at the three foot section or after three feet of the test section. Moving up to 4,000. We see that the flow is transitioning and going completely turbulent. well before three feet. But three feet, is, it is completely turbulent flow. We're going to try to hone in on critical Reynolds number. We'll go to It seems like the flow transitions to turbulence, to turbulent around three feet. Uh, the flow rate of 0.95. And we see that 0.95 